Hello everyone, my name is Ellen. So if you're pressed for time or you want to just paint something really quick and fast and loose, here's a five minute hydrangea for you. And then I give you a five minute extension to add a little more detail and depth um, on how to do that. And really, if you're even starting out, this is a really super simple, easy tutorial to do to make simple hydrangeas that look kind of nice and pretty and cool. Now I kind of clustered mine in a, as a bouquet, but you can separate them a little bit more. There's so many variety, variety of ways you can do this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Um, also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. We do um, monthly challenges, weekly giveaways, excuse me, <laughs> monthly giveaways, weekly challenges. We also, um, on Patreon, you get first dibs on watercolor workshops and retreats. So it's kind of a nice little uh, bonus for Patreon member, uh, Facebook page. And all that you can check out in the link below in the description box. But without further ado, let's get painting the really quick and easy, fast hydrangea that is not intimidating and it's really easy and fun that I kind of teach in some of my workshops and I think you'll love it. So let's get painting. Okay, so to make a five minute hydrangea, I'm just using Arch 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I'm using my Princeton 12 Neptune series and I have my paint mixed up. It's ultramarine blue, just loosened here. Blue, ultramarine blue mixed with some bright rose. And then we have some greens mixed up. I just use Cadmium Yellow Deep with some Prussian Blue, maybe a touch of brown. And so we'll get the brush all wet and I'll grab my blue, ultramarine blue paint. And we're just gonna kind of dab, right? And grab some water too, kind of grab water again. Now that's really wet and loose. And I'm just, see how I'm just twisting my brush? Now that's a really deep blue. I make it lighter by adding more water. Really, see? And I'm leaving some white space. So hydrangeas are kind of in a ball shape. You just picture yourself putting it in a ball shape. Let that one dry and I'll do like three of them. I'll do another one here. Again, go pretty fast. Don't think about it. Just twisting your brush, pick up some more water. Twisting and twisting and twisting. <laughs> you see that? And then I'll do another one here. Maybe a smaller type size. I like to do all my flowers in like you know a triangle method and in you know whatever bloom I'm doing I like to do three of them sometimes I could just do one but see I'm just twisting and turning now while they're still damp do 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 go point I'm gonna grab some more water kind of push this away you want it more rounded just go like that gonna grab some of my purple color and kind of blend that in there See, you can even just put in some of that pink rose. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker, which means less water. I'm gonna grab my blue and the rose. And I'm gonna tap it on a paper towel to get off the excess. Just tapping it on that left, excuse me, the right side, left, right. <laughs> One side, while it's still damp. Adding a little purple. Again, you can add some more blue too. Not too dark. I'm going back in here. While it's still damp, I'm just tippy tapping and twisting my brush. This is the fun stuff. Now, always have a paper towel close by if you want to remove some color, if it's becoming too dark and you wanted a pretty pale hydrangea. I'll like loosen up this color on my brush, adding some more water to it. You can hear me swish it and kind of tap out some of these out here. So it's kind of really kind of misty, tapping out, pushing the paint around and go back in a little, a little more and just again, leaving some white space. You want it nice and light. It's going to try lighter though, by the way, and add some more depth on this side. A little bit darker still. This is how I approached my hydrangeas that I went really, really loose, right? It doesn't have to look like a perfect hydrangea with four or five petals. Going in and adding in some purple again. Voila. Getting a little deeper on this color here. Can make a bluish purple. A little more blue. 
getting deeper as you noticed, right? Pouncing kind of on my tip. And it's nice and deep inside. I always kind of do one side. It's just kind of my thing. You can pick a side. If you don't like that side, pick your other side. So really you just have those balls kind of happening. Now the little trick is to play with twisting the paper towel, removing some color. You can even add See, it's getting very textural now, right? And then so the green, I don't think I mixed up enough. I'm gonna grab some more yellow, Prussian blue. The hydrangeas are pretty, they have a pretty deep kind of leaf, but again, I'm just using the same brush and I'll just take it and I'll put, put a stem like there and I'll connect it here and I'll put one over here, kind of connecting the three. And maybe add a little green in here, tapping inside that hydrangea. If you want it brighter, add a little more yellow. Don't want it to bleed too much inside those little white spaces. Now, obviously it wouldn't be this tiny, this stem. And most of the hydrangeas, actually I'm looking at mine outside, have more of a brown kind of stem, but we'll put a green there. And then I just take this brush again, I pull up, twist out. I like the, um, the look of having the dry brush kind of right happening there. And I'll just start to stick some leaves kind of in here. Twisting again, twist and turn and pull it in. Same thing and go in here. We'll make some deeper color. And we'll kind of tap that in also here and here. Already it's forming a beautiful bouquet. You can add more stems. Even though there's only three, you can just add some more stems kind of looking like it's in a branch somewhere. Adding some leaves out this way to make it look it's like a bunch. Again, I'm just twisting my brush. But really, it was really simple, right? It's already five minutes right now. Five minutes right now, done. But after that, if you want to add more detail, you can go in and add more detail. All right? You can kind of build from there. So that was five minutes. Look at the clock. <laughs> now we can go in and get a little more detailed if you're feeling a little ambitious. It's still damp. We're going to go back in and add some more depth with the color. Twisting again the brush. Getting some more purple on this side. Just like that. Just to be tapping and twisting. I might even get it even a little bit darker still, kind of in here. But I don't like to fuss too much with my hydrangeas if they're really loose. Again, like you see me kind of twisting my brush, leaving some space in between. It's really that simple. I mean, you don't have to make it complicated. Maybe a little deeper with the blue. Depends on how light blue you want it to make it. Twisting again, just this dark area here. And I do want like a bright, bright light green happening. So I'll grab my yellow and mix it in here more and I have a chartreuse kind of color and you can kind of peek some of that in here to make it more interesting again. Just peeking right in there in the little stems just to give it a little more interest. Right? See, we're building the picture. We did that five minutes and it looked great, but now we want to build up and add some more to it. <laughs> and that's all it takes. And here it's kind of like blurred a little bit. So I'll kind of give it some more dimension by adding in some deeper green. I added more Prussian blue to that. Now it pulls out. So if it feels like just one big blob in here, not enough depth. You can twist the paper towel and turn it. A little scrunchy of a little ball. Kind of lift some of that color. If it was looking too ballish, like, you know, not enough depth of the color. And now you'll have a little more textural kind of situation happening. And it looks almost realistic. <laughs> so much fun. Really, how much time did this take us? 
little pieces of the paper towel I'm just kind of twisting it and up here it's kind of blobbish so you just kind of like I said you go in and add some depth and details you go back in and you kind of twist a little again maybe just the blue itself you can add a couple just a little teeny bit of petals so it looks somewhat realistic super hyper realistic but don't fret about it just twisting my brush making little petals see how pretty that looks now just adding that little bit of detail on top little petals that you see in the hydrangeas but really if you are just starting out and what I showed you first that five minute hydrangea and see that we took a color away and we can go back in here on top and just add those little petals and it looks a little more advanced and it's just pretty simple just twisting and adding four little petals that connect to each other here and there around the like really light areas that we painted right it has more depth it's up to you how you want to do it and I'll go back in and I'll add a little bit more depth in here twisting again so much fun you should really just play with tapping your brushes and twisting them and moving them around and seeing what they create you'd be surprised how much fun it is and for the last bit I'm gonna go back in and add some more of this greenery doo, doo, doo. just kind of twisting some greenery down here and here that's kind of my signature twist and move see what we got and then we have some nice stems that's it that's all she wrote for <laughs> a five minute hydrangea um, yeah and I feel like maybe in here I get some dark green in here too I don't know why but I'm looking back at it and I'm like mm, needed something in here kind of poking and that feels more like a hydrangea it should be but that's my five minute hydrangea and I hope you enjoyed it with the extension of a little added um, depth to it like I said, you just take a paper towel when it's really damp and wet and you kind of twist it. All right. So there you go. I want to see you guys create something really simple and fast and see how you like it. Sometimes you'd be surprised at the outcome. Okay, take care and I'll speak to you soon.